we were greeted with another wet day, heading down the Estrella Mountain to Fundau, where we'd meet Joseph, also known as Farmer for Fun on Instagram and YouTube. He's going to show us another property. But first, I need to put my waterproofs on as it wasn't raining when we left the hotel a couple of minutes ago. Fortunately, the bad weather cleared up, which definitely makes the ride more enjoyable. The views weren't that bad either. Joseph, nice to meet you. Hi, I was looking, I thought, I don't know if you're on bikes or not. Yeah, no, we're on bikes. How's it going? Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, yeah. You, you, you rode the bikes from England to here? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we rode, what, what a trip. What a trip. I bet, that was, I bet that was amazing. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah, let's have a Let's go in. <laughs> After a quick drink, we headed to the property. This is that thing I was talking about where they crush the grapes. This produces an awful lot of wine in there. That's huge. Like you can see the height of him. He's yeah. not. He's not a short man. He's probably probably about that height, I guess. The grapes will stay in there for a few weeks, and then there'll be a tap somewhere. It's probably not on the photo. It's down here somewhere. Uh, you turn that tap siphon it all out and then it will go into the secondary fermenters. I'd have to ask him, but I think a lot of the equipment is included in the sale. Tractor, not included in the sale. He oh. said he would sell it, but he wants an expensive price for that, so it's not worth doing. Right. You're better off to just say, no, I don't want it and buy one yeah. from, the, from the warehouse. These are the staircase inside. Wow. We might be able to go in when we go down there if, yeah, if the owner's there, well. hopefully, hopefully. Uh, it's got a nice, like, uh, I don't know if it would be like, I don't know if it's marble or, but it's a nice stone anyway. It's, right here, let's take a look, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> I felt like I was uh, filming for the channel there. Yeah. <laughs> the you see what I mean about it being so close to the village? Doesn't seem it from here, but it's like a two hectare property, you yeah. know? So when we walk down to the bottom of the two hectares, you're maybe 40 meters from the village here. So there's two oh, varieties yeah. of fig that are normally planted in Portugal. Uh, you get Sao Joel, which is this one. They're the earlier varieties, so that's why they're so big now. Yeah. They're gonna get to like that sort of size and by, uh, by maybe, oh, that's a bit of an exaggeration, about that sort of size. By mid-June, I guess they're gonna, uh, gonna be nice and big and black and you, literally you can just rip them straight open with a spoon or just eat them like that, Lovely. you know? 
beautiful, beautiful. The other ones are called Pingo de Mel, and he'll have them on this farm as well. But you won't see the figs on them yet, or you might see them very, very small. And they'll be like almost like teardrop shaped, pretty much round, but with a little tiny triangle at the top. And um, yeah, they're very sweet. Pingo de Mel means uh, a drop of honey in Portuguese. Oh. So they are like eating a drop of honey. You just eat the whole thing like that. And beautiful. Someone's dog's come to tell us to move. Yeah. <laughs> Doing his job. He's definitely doing his job. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, lots of water on the mountainside. Yeah. Looks like looks like this is one of the smaller varieties of figs. I can't see any bigger ones on there. So he's definitely not there. The gate's shut. It's lovely drive. But we'll walk down to the bottom anyway, so you can get an idea, and then we'll hopefully be able to jump over the wall, have a little walk round. <laughs> These are all, by the look of it, some sort of plum. Not sure what green gauges or something like that. Renia claudia, I think. There is so much food on this land, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. So, this probably, beautiful. probably not. Yeah, it's locked here. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, so as you walk in here, um, obviously maybe next week or whatever, whenever you guys are back, we can actually look inside. But as you walk in here, you've got the staircase on the photos that I was showing you on the right-hand side. Yeah. Kitchen on the left, big long uh, hallway in the, midi in, in the middle of the, of the house, and then bathroom at the end, bedroom, uh, lounge, upstairs. Bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, and a, and a closet, yeah. <laughs> Is this all part of the land? Yeah, it goes all the well? way down. If we keep going, oh, I'll show wow. you right to where it finishes. It's not small. No, it's not, is it? It's got a nice view. Um, you can't really see today because of the clouds, but the Serra de Estrella is just over there behind them clouds. So a nice view from there, from the veranda and from the bedrooms upstairs as well, which are up there. You can uh, you can see the window there. That that looks right out to the right out to the mountain. It's so nice. Yeah, yeah. This is the wine room just down here. This door here, yep. And it goes up to where the um, where the tall tree line is over there. Yep. And that goes right up to where the the right gate. There, the dark trees. Yeah, the the big tall um, the fir trees or pine trees or whatever they are, the tall ones over there. What's the where property's got a uh, big double garage. Uh, it's not. Yeah. A, it's it's probably bigger it's than a double garage in actual fact. It's uh, it goes back a quite a long way. way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, a big barbecue in there. Fantastic uh, workshop. Love this yeah, like yeah. Here. Oh, we can jump straight over here actually, can't we? Yeah. What else have we got here? Little onions and things by the look of it. Huge veg area. I bet it's locked. Ooh. We have it's an open. entrance. Oh, should we should we have a walk down yeah. to the end yeah, first? Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, go to yeah. the end first. Pop that grass on there. <laughs> so, so far, we've ridden in the back of your van. Yeah, broken an entry. Yeah, broken yeah. An entry. yeah. <laughs> I'm a bad influence, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the owner will say specifically, but I think it's something like 500. Five, seven hundred, something like that, cherry trees on here, I wow. think, something like that, which gives quite a nice income as well. It's a much nicer way of life. It's I think much so. better than yeah. going and working for a huge company. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the, um, the electric box. It's all connected to the electricity, of course, but only because he produces enough where he can yeah. sell it back to, the, back to the grid, you know. If we walk down here, it's literally just to where that corner is, you'll see you're already in the village. And you wouldn't know, you can't hear it, no. but you can see that, you just start to see the, uh, the terracotta roofs of the houses there. Oh, yeah. But you would not know, it's such a nice, sleepy little, yeah, sleepy so little quiet. village, it's lovely. Oh, and there's the village, just there. Wow. If we come down here, like, sorry, I'm dragging you all around the village now, and as we come out here, we're right by the church. Post wow. offices just behind the church on that side, and the uh, the parish council as well, just over there. So is that shish? This is all shish, though. Yeah. I keep looking to see the odd bit of granite, but I haven't seen any yet. Well, let's take a take a little walk in here then. We better shut the gate after us because yeah. we're going to uh, we're going to come out the other way. I think. <laughs> Look at the veg patch. He really, really tends his veg nicely, he does, doesn't he? Does not he? Another no, lovely fig tree, Neshbra. Have you seen these trees before? No, I have not. Loquats. It's got quite a few fruit this year. They, they fruit heavily one year and then uh, very lightly the next year. And what are they like to eat? The next one is a pear by the look of it. I tell you what, I think it's hard to say because I really like cherries a lot, which is evident from my channel. But mm -hmm. I think these might be my favourite fruit. You don't, they don't really sell them in the UK. Maybe in no, specialist, specialist little mini markets or something, I don't know. but Or maybe like certain fruit markets. But they're... Um, they look, how can you describe them? They're yellow, they're furry, they've got a very rough texture, but you can eat them and they're just, oh, they're like a, like a peach nectarine. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. I don't they're, think I've ever had one. I hadn't before I come here and someone said to me, oh, they're one of the best fruits you can eat. And I, yeah, but honest to God, when I ate one, I was just like, oh my word. It was like the juiciness of a strawberry inside, just like so juicy, but, I don't know, tastes like a peach or a nectarine yeah. or something. Really, really nice, really nice. Look at them cherries, they're nearly, oh, they're wow. pretty much ready to eat. 
This one he has it lowered down. You can fill it back up. The uh, the um, borehole is just inside that room. I, I think I think it's inside that room. So you can literally just fill it straight up when you want. That's huge, isn't it? I'm not sure how deep it is. I don't know if we can see the bottom. But yeah, he said he can fill it right to the top, but he just doesn't. They're really, uh, really coming now. Yeah, they are. Some of them are like practically not quite ready to eat, but near enough. Lots of olives on the tree as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> that the neighbouring. No, no, it's all included up oh, to where the tall oh, trees are. Up to the tall trees. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's it's like one big rectangle up to the trees. But yeah. Wow. The track what we walked in on on one side, uh, the trees on the other side. Yep, the big where the where the pylon is up there. Yeah, yeah. What's the internet like round here? Good. You can yeah. get optic fibre in the village here. Oh, I brilliant. haven't got it on my farm because I'm just off the village. Lots of little olive trees been planted. And olive trees, they can, they're practically immortal. They can yeah. live forever. If they're pruned right and they're kept well, they can live forever. And they say there's some olive trees in the world that date back to when Jesus was alive. Yeah, so, yeah. so, you know, they've they got to be like, what, 2,000 years or something. But olives are pretty much, when you plant them, this, this is a few years old now. This is maybe three or four years old. They take like eight years to become mature. So they can produce after the first couple of years of planting them but it's only going to be one or two. It's not going to be many. I mean, this one has already got quite a lot on there, but because it's still a young tree, it's probably going to drop quite a lot of those. Yeah. I like to say you get on average about 20 to 30 kilos a tree, but some of them you get like uh, 50 kilos, 60 kilos off. Fathers, I think they might be fava beans. Huge ones on there. Yeah, yeah. Oh Christ, yeah, I didn't see that one. I was yeah, looking at the one behind like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I think they're fathers. I think they're fava beans. Not sure what that tree is there. That might be quince. So all these bottles hanging up, are they? Fly traps. Be, that one is not a trap because there's no opening or anything. That one is just to um, to shimmer in the sunlight and uh, scare the birds off, yeah. scare the bugs off, that sort of thing, the flies and whatnot. But a lot of the ones, what you see when they've got a little bit of, normally like that, that one that one isn't by the look of it because it's empty, but normally like that, they've got a little bit of uh, white vinegar in and uh, yeah, you drill a 3.5 mil hole in them and that's big enough for these fruit flies to fly in, but not big enough for the honeybees to fly in. So uh, the honeybees yeah, can't, get, can't get killed, but yeah, yeah. Would you consider keeping bees? Yes, that's something I want to do. Would you? Yeah, I've got three hives. I love it. I love it. Yep. The Iberian bees, the Portuguese bees, they are aggressive. They, oh. Well, they're defensive. They're defensive. You know, not, not necessarily aggressive, but they're defensive. They're fine if you're if they're around here. They're fine. You can pretty much touch them and they're fine. But if you go to the hive, bang, they'll oh, get yeah. you. They'll get you. I'm all about bringing bees back because there is a massive decline in there bees. There really is. Yeah. And we yeah. really need them. Yeah. I've, I've got three hives. I, I, bought, yeah. I bought two to start with, and then I, I done a split and, and yeah, created that's exactly a new one. Yeah. Exactly what I'd know. like to do. I've been watching OK Portugal. Oh yeah. And their yeah. journey with their bees as yeah. well. Yeah. Look at all the flies he caught in there. Oh yeah. I think it looks like they're all flies anyway. Do you want to take one of the oranges and see see what they're like? Yeah. You're well you're welcome to, you're welcome to. He won't the owner won't mind? Nah, he won't mind. How do you get an orange? Twist, twist it, it. Twist it, yeah. They might not be the sweetest, those ones. They might not be. But there was there was some down the bottom that were much more orange, but I don't know. Give it a go. Looks like it's gonna be a good year for grapes as well. I say that, I can't see any on this one now, but I saw loads back there. Yeah, here there's some grapes under here. Quite a lot of grapes oh, yeah. in there. Pretty much all red grapes on the farm here, but you will get some white as well mixed in. He has a barbecue in that room there, and then loads of logs st stacked up for the for the barbecue. Sorry that I can't show you inside. No, we'll, we'll make a date to come back and uh, with all the keys and everything, you know. And then this heater. one's where the tractor is. What's that? Solar water heater. Yep, yep, solar water, yep. Lovely house. Lots of nice roses. Yeah. Yeah, my mum loves roses. Does she? Yeah. Big rose fan. Yeah. Nice, big fig tree. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Was it quite quite sweet? Just yeah. yeah, sweet. One, do you want to give some to Joseph as well? Oh, I'll take I'll take one. Yeah, well, uh, just one. one. I'll take that one a little bit there. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That wasn't bad. No seeds either, so that's no. quite a nice one. Yeah. All little baby cherry trees. Baby. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I think he told me apricots, but. Oh, these might be apricots. I'm, I can't remember, but he told me there was apricots here somewhere. It could be that tree, I'm not sure. One of them around here, or a few of them are apricots anyway. Regardless, there's plenty of Lots of fruit, fruit anyway, yeah. <laughs> Your fruit bowl won't run empty, that's for sure, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, all of it has got irrigation. All irrigated, everything's irrigated, yeah. And uh, every terrace has its, I, I don't want to say every terrace, but I think every terrace has its own taps and everything. Yeah. Prickly pears there as well. Oh, yeah. Oh my word. Not one to use without gloves, that's for sure. No. Look at that view. 
Yeah, I mean, when you when you go up on the on the veranda, which is on the other side yeah. of the property, you've got a wraparound view of right the way to the Serra d'Estrella, right the way over here, which is the the it's the foothills of the Gardenia, yeah. but you've got the um, the Serra de Abelheira. Olá, boa tarde. Estamos amigos de Joao. <laughs> I said we're 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 friends of Joao. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Each terrace goes out like that. Oh, we should have just walked up a bit. You can see the view better now. <laughs> oh yeah. It goes steeper up here. But that's only really the track which you would drive up anyway. Are these baby orange trees here? Not sure. What was that? Are they baby orange trees? They're cherries, they're, oh, they're, they're all cherries. cherries, yeah. See, that little area there is bigger than my garden at home. Where yeah. would you buy yeah. these? Probably at the market. Oh yeah, Monday Market would be the best place. Yeah, they've got um, quite a few nursery stalls. Have you been to the Fundal Farmers Market? Not yet. No. You've got to go. It's we, good we, every, Monday, every Monday. Every Monday. Every yeah. Monday. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow then. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, go there. Go there in the tomorrow. morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to go to the indoor food bit. But they start at like six, seven. Yeah, this is the Gardenia. We're on the Gardenia. Yeah. 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 And then where's the the, the Australia? Uh, the Australia's there. That the, one. This one here. Yeah. The big yeah. one. So that's where we. Yeah, I think we're staying in that cloud somewhere. This, this is an amazing I didn't realise how much of the village you could actually see here. And there's a river that runs, it's not really a river, it's a large stream or a very small river that runs in the, in the valley down there. That's where the swimming beach is, I'll take you there in a little while. This is amazing. We enjoyed the mountain view for a while and viewed the other house on the land. This property also has solar power and it was making so much energy the owner actually sold some electric back to the grid. We also viewed the nice sized irrigation tank that could be used as a natural pool. We really liked the farm, but privacy was an issue. We wanted something a bit more private. Joseph took us to see some more lovely views and the local river beach. After dinner and a few drinks with Joseph, we headed back up the mountain to our hotel. What a lad.
know, we just had a lovely night ride. Because I can't turn like that. No, no, I'm not doing it. Hun, I'm f***ing 50 pence in this corner. So leave me alone. Ah, f***. And it was a very nice time meeting Joseph. Wasn't it, dear? It certainly was. That's a lovely evening. Jolly old time. A couple of beers and then rode in the pitch black up a mountain, the highest mountain in Portugal. What are we doing tomorrow? I don't know. We're maybe viewing some properties tomorrow, but we would like to just go back to Fundal to be honest, wouldn't we? And just probably spend the rest of the time there. We really like the property there, but don't know if we'll get it, but we'll see. Yeah, but it's just the second property we've seen, remember that? Yeah, that's true. But anyway, whatever we're doing tomorrow, let's go to that. Check out our next video to continue the story. Also, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. It will really help us out. You could also chat with us in the comments below.